speaking in front of large groups of people and speaking. So, uh, no, I, I'm 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 going to give it 100, percent and I I just don't let anybody tell me that I cannot do something because I believe in myself and I know I can. And just last question for me. Inevitably, I think there's going to be comparisons to Brock Lesnar. Do you welcome that and say, you know, I want to try to live up to that type of level, or, or do you? Would you prefer people say, hey, listen, don't make that comparison. I'm my own guy. I'm doing this a little different. Well, you hear positive and negative things about Brock. Oh, Brock, he was a wrestler. He got knocked out. No, dude, Brock was the heavyweight champion. So if somebody's going to compare me to Brock Lesnar, you know, I'll gladly, I'll, I'll, t I'll take that. I think I'm a little cuter, but, you know. <laughs> Phil Kevin Ioli with Yahoo Sports. Uh, first of all, you know when Dana came over, he said you're probably looking at 185, but he said you said you wouldn't rule out 170. They bill you in wrestling at 218. What is your walking around weight, and what is your thought process on a division? Uh, the first legitimate conversation I had with Lorenzo and Dana, I was 215, and I ate so much food in front of them. And then hindsight, I was probably like, man, maybe I shouldn't have done that. You know, <laughs> I ate everything. Um, but uh, since then, I've lost. I've already lost 15 pounds, and I've been training my ass off already, anticipating this. So it's super exciting for me. I think I could. Uh, I don't want to say easily get to 185. I'm going to do a test weight cut. I'm going to use all the uh, contacts I already have to get the best nutritionist, whatnot, and I'm going to see how I feel. Uh, I'm, I'm just not ruling out 170. Um, I, you know, there's. I, I got to do test my body, my, my, my body fat percentage and, and all that other stuff. I'm just not ruling out 170 just in case, but 185 is, is most likely the target. You've been working out, Dana and Totos, for a while. You know, Brock had that base of wrestling. He was a national championship type yeah. wrestler. What is your background? I mean, we, you know, we know you've been working with Henner and, and whatnot, but I mean, what do you feel like your base is and what is it that you're going to bring to the cage that you think might make you successful? Uh, just for the length that I've known Henner and been working with him, I definitely say my base is jujitsu. I'm by no means uh, like a kickboxing whiz or anything like that, but I intend to be as well rounded as I possibly can before I step foot in the cage. And then my last question for you is uh, obviously, you know, boxing, WWE, and wrestling pay per view has been down, and certainly uh, in this sport, they, you know, they could use an, a little bit of a jolt. Do you feel like one of the attractions you had to management was the fact that, you know, you can work a mic and, you know, maybe beat Chael Sun in too? Uh, I, I would like to think that Chael was emulating me most of his career, um, and I say that lovingly. Uh, I definitely think that's an aspect of it. I mean, if I was just Phil Brooks, they, you know, I, I'm coming into the biggest fighting organization in the world with an 0 and 0 record, and I understand that. I'm sure people are still going to throw that in my face, but that does not bother me. That's the reality of it, and I embrace that reality. Uh, can can CM Punk fight? Uh, yeah, I, I think everybody in, a, and on some level can fight. It's in our DNA. Uh, I intend to take this very seriously. And like I said uh, with Joe Rogan, cage side, I respect everybody who's ever stepped foot in the cage. And before I'm done here, everybody will respect me as well.